Hello everybody, I'm FG and welcome to this video where we'll be talking about Rim World News. Yes, you heard me right. If you've not been living under a rock for like the last 17 hours, you may have not heard it yet, but there is new Rim World content coming. You can see it right here on the screen already. I pulled up just my Steam, the Steam post in like big so we can see it. Two things are happening. We're getting a new DLC called Ideology soon TM. The DLC is not out yet, but will be sooner rather than later. Accompanying the DLC will be, as you can see here in the title, the update 1.3. Remember 1.3 is coming soon, but you can actually already play it. You can opt in to play this over on Steam. Just right click the game, properties, beta, and opt into the 1.3 preview. Be warned, it's full of bugs. There's some unbalanced stuff going on in there, so be warned. You might lose a couple of save files. This is just how the nature goes um, with testing builds that aren't live yet. But if you're really, really excited like me and you want to play it right now, you can. You can help them. Make sure to report bugs over on the Ludium forums if you've got them. And, you know, upload or like comment on topics that has bugs that you have experienced as well so they can fix them. But you can play this right now. But... This video is going to be partial about the update, but also partially about the announced expansion. So first, let's talk about 1.3. 1.3 changes a few things quite a lot. And those things are, first of all, animals. And then second of all, sappers. And then sort of a third of all, which is not so exciting for the regular player. I mean, it sort of is exciting for the regular player, but it also brings in um, certain improvements in terms of like how stuff is rendered and layered in the game, uh, ultimately reducing lag, which is really, really nice. So let's go talk about the changes that are coming to animal animals right now, right the second. As you can see, I'm going to pull up the screenshot right here. Oh, beautiful. You can already see a whole bunch of new things right here if you look closely. Did you see them all? Because, first of all, what are we getting? We are getting a penning system for animals. So that means there are fences and gates that you can see right here. So this is a fence. This is a gate uh, for animals, for ranching animals. So this is for, as you can see, for example, cows, the chickens, the horses, the donkeys and all of that sort of stuff. All of those animals, they're not smart animals that can't haul, but are there for food or like wool production. Um, those require, or you can pen these nowadays. And um, that's the system that's already in the 1.3 preview. You can go check that out right this second if you're uh, if you're interested. And you can you can play with, around with this. So the way you do it is you just fence in an area. And then you have to plonk in this, which is a pen marker. This is very important. This is a pen marker. And then you click on the pen marker and then you assign the animals that go into that particular pen. And then what you do as well is you can assert, uh, you can then attach a barn building to the fence and area where they can then, uh, where the animals can just uh, sleep and where they can be and where they have their little nice barny home. So uh, if you want to look, your colony to look like a, a ranch, you can do that nowadays. Um, there's more things, though, that you can also see in this screenshot. First of all, if you specify uh, an area for a specific animal, your colonists, the animal handlers, will lead them over there. And you can that's visually represented as well. They don't just follow them. No, they have, a, they have an actual lead and they will slowly walk after your pawns. There is a new type of flooring, which is over here which is the straw flooring. It's uh, very cheap to build. It just actually uses hay grass to build. Um, obviously, it's flammable. It's very cheap. It's uh, It doesn't like take that much dirt, but it's just for animals, right? And so just so you have a floor. So uh, that is a thing. And uh, up here, you can see this, which is an egg box. Uh, and animals that lay eggs will go over to that box and lay their eggs in there. And then the colonists will go and collect those eggs when the box is full so no longer will colonists go there to just grab one egg and then come back and forth no they'll grab an entire stack of them which is really really nice also you can't quite tell it here i'm not sure if this is it i think this is it 
um the visual representation may have changed you can now build um basically what amounts to not a door but yet a temperature barrier which is called i think i, I believe it was called the animal flap uh, which basically is made out of cloth and it's a door that animals can walk through and that keeps the temperature in the barn up but the animals can walk through it so that's the first big thing that's coming a uh, big change that's coming to animals which is really 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 exciting and i'm actually quite looking forward to that the next big new thing that is happening is that sapphires have been changed again so yes once again we do have to deal with those pesky little buggers that don't want to go through our screen uh, our kill box and uh they will they, they've been made smarter they now have tools to actually go through your walls and and they're just a lot smarter nowadays so we have to um get better at defending our bases one more big thing that i'd like to talk about for the 1.3 change because this is already in 1.3 available this is not coming with ideology but this has to do with the new types of sapper raids that are actually called breaching raids um we have to deal with a new mechanoid there is a new mechanoid they didn't even get like announced in the big big notes there was this sneaky screenshot that you can see right here but it wasn't even announced in the big 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 screenshots but there is a new mechanoid called the Hermite. It is a medium-sized mechanoid. It specializes in burrowing, digging, and breaking through defensive structures. So we now have to deal with proper mechanoid sapper raids as well. Or breaching raids as they're called now. Rather than, than just people trying to dig through our walls. So... Uh, that's going to be very very fun but yeah you can already see the new art in here so uh the mechs get a bit more diverse uh we have to adjust our play style quite a lot and i am let's say it this way apprehensive about it because i don't like dealing with mechanoids so this is going to make it very very difficult Besides the three listed things that I already told you about, there's a few other things that have changed in the game. Some of them have an impact on gameplay, some of them don't. But visually, if you're clever, you may have already spotted one of them. And that is colonists can now have beards. Up here in the top, you can see lovely lawman spots sport, sporting, sporting a wonderful, wonderful smexy beard. So uh, if you've played with the uh, vanilla enhanced mods before or vanilla extended mods before um the ones from oscar that add facial hair that facial hair is now vanilla so you don't need those mods anymore um but yeah colonists cannot have beards which is really really cool then another thing that you can see in this screenshot already that um is really neat it's a minor visual thing but you can see it here in the damage pawns up there speedy zero paul etc the portraits of the colonists and the actual textures for the colonists will now more accurately render where they are actually hurt. So it's a totally minor thing, but for example, you can now look at Jamie's portrait up here, in particular at the top, and you can see uh, Jamie has just a slightly damaged eye. And he's, you know, you can see because of the name being red that there is a slight, you know, they have a slight issue there. And that is because they have an injury on the eye. Uh, same with Speedy, you can tell that the torso is hurt rather than, for example, the head. Paul has been hit in the torso and in the eye, in the left eye in particular. So you can now more easily at a glance tell what is wrong with a colonist, which I think is pretty cool. Um, that obviously goes hand in hand with the whole, you know, new rendering of the colonist textures. Um, so even though we get a more detailed view of their injuries now, we don't get more lag from how the textures are shown in game, which is really, really awesome. The next little, little thing that you may already have spied in this little screenshot is actually over here which is this little thing in the inventory where it says 
inventory carried medicine. You can now assign your colonists to carry medicine around with them in their pockets. So no longer do they have to go and grab medicine from the medicine stack, but rather if they need to self-tend or if they need to field tend somebody right next to them, they already have the medicine in their pocket. So they can just go and grab the medicine and be like, I heal you now, and they have it. Obviously, you'll like for a full tent, you'll need more medicine, but this means that you know the biggest injuries in the field, you can now tend with medicine, which I think is really, really awesome. And you don't just have to like run off and like work on that. And yeah, this is just this is a nearly neat, tiny little addition that's going to um, just make playing the game a little bit more comfortable and a little bit, you know, like it's gonna prevent a couple of like deaths in the field basically but only minor like it's a minor gameplay change but i think it's really neat and if you don't want them to carry it around because you can assign how much medicine they want to they, they carry around with them and which type of medicine but if you don't want to play with this you can also just say nope don't carry around medicine i don't care if you die um or you can be like no just have some herbal medicine with you or some other world meds or blue meds or whatever the next Thing that has been reworked or redone a little bit is the faction system the faction haven't changed or anything like that it's just that the faction goodwill menu has been reworked a little bit to be a little bit more obvious and to tell you how how the goodwill comes to be why the number is what it is and at the same time factions will now remember what you've done more efficiently than before so factions are going to be like faction interaction is going to become a lot more complex and this is going to be fleshed out even more so in the new dlc that's coming out later this month possibly because we don't have a, an actual release date yet but i think it's probably going to be end of july when it when it comes out and um, basically, right now, what modifies faction relation, like naturally, is just really small. It's just basically, they're, they're friendly or they're not friendly. That's it. In the future, with the new belief system that's coming in ideology and like how you steer your colony and how they think, um, that's going to be a lot more complex and is going to be influenced by a lot more things, which I think is going to be really, really neat and um will expand the role playing and like the actual like making your colony and making it making it your uniquely your own colony is going to there, there's a, so many possibilities now it's going to be going to be really really awesome there's another tiny little thing that people might not actually notice that much but that as me as somebody who's played this game a lot has really made me uh really really happy is that the uh, colors for the factions have also slightly changed. Um, just makes it a little bit more illegible and just nicer looking and sleeker looking on the eye. But I do still wish this red color would also change because it's better than how it was before, but it's still not quite that legible. But the new, the new icons look very, very sleek. Also, there is now a thing when you select your faction and I'm going to insert another little clip um, after I've talked about it so you can see it as well. You can, when you start a map, you can select now how many of which faction you want on your map, which is really, really cool. But apparently don't select more than 11 because that apparently breaks the game. And that concludes the part about what has changed with 1.3. There is also another full change log besides this article that I'll link down in the description before if you'd like to get down into the nitty gritty of all the minute details that have changed in the game. And there is a lot, let me tell you. Like this, this is a lot. This is a lot. There is a lot of changes if you look at it. Look at all these differences. There is, there's a lot of stuff that's going to is going to affect uh, future RimWorld gameplay. And I'm really excited to do a deep dive on this as well, which we'll uh, do in another video. But now let's get down to the nitty gritty where we talk about the new expansion. 
ideology. Ideology is going to be all about factions, your colony, and their belief systems and how they interact with things and things like that. We only have a few screenshots to go by. So those are these ones that are linked down here below already. But for example, apparently you can have a rave now with your colonies and celebrate whatever gods and belief systems you're worshipping. But the actual nitty gritty and important thing is, let me show you, is this lovely little thing right here. This, this screenshot is just Mwah. like look at look at how detailed the system is and what you can tell people to abhor or like or ah oh, there are so many options and you can write your own narrative and and ah oh, it's great <laughs> I love, I love how the example that they use is obviously um, a body purist, pain-loving cannibals was great, called a piece of man, man porkism was great. So yeah, um, you have you have loads and loads of different um, like bits that you can select and adjust and throw together, and you can you can really mold your colonists to how you want them which is like just it's just it's just like looking looking at all of this has just so many possibilities it's going to be just oh it's gonna it's gonna open up so much for gameplay it's awesome also if you look at this particular screenshots there's a whole bunch of things that hasn't even really been touched upon first of all new clothing options because these are definitely cultist robes like i mean sorry these are cultist robes and there's nothing you can say about it let me zoom in i mean ethan and jack and anya and huff they're definitely wearing cultist clothes plus the masks in their faces um then let me draw your attention to whatever the heck that statue is plus um people in cages excuse me say what now oh boy i believe um slave trade is going to become a little bit more involved i guess on the rim um you know obviously it's not been really talked about that particular system yet but that looks really interesting i have no no clue what the heck this is the ritual altar i don't know different looking torch with a skull through it really hope that that requires like a human skeleton to make that that particular torch looks very interesting uh plus this for example slab bed preferred which is apparently a new type of bed because i guess they're uh they idealize pain so they want to sleep on painful slab beds i don't know like there's a lot a lot a lot of potential with this new cult system also what the heck is this what is that table is that like a i i i don't know is that a vanity table i don't know what that is but it has me very 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 excited if you look at the other screenshots as well you can see a few more things for example right here it's a totally different type of clothing that they're wearing whatever these beanie hats is also um can i just say perfect choice of color love it weird totems with like weird ghosty totems giant drums where you can worship things headbands more masks whatever this is on the floor whatever the heck this is um little pillars on the outside there what the heck is that broken down car right there like see what i mean like there's so many awesome things here in just these screenshots that i have not been even talked about more statues over here interesting looking flipping 
floor in that room as well. That looks really nice. Cool little tree. Is that a new animal question mark? I don't know what that is. That looks or is that a statue? I don't know what that is. It looks very intriguing. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of things about ideo uh, ideology that I have not that, that you know that that are not been like talked about but that if you do a deep dive in these uh, screenshots that we can see i'm extremely extremely excited about this more over here for example this looks very like cavish underwater sacrificing people i don't know what this is these symbols on the floor more diff more statues i love that we get more statues this is like a horned god statue fungi can we grow fungi now please let me tell tell me that we can grow fun fungi now that would be amazing different looking torches i'm very excited for ideology and um can't wait to play it and can't wait to figure out what else we can get from these screenshots this looks very much like new spacer tech whatever this is no clue what the heck is that what are these lambs what is all of that so you know i think ideology when you look at it for the first time it sounds kind of like eh but actually doing a deep dive on these screenshots that have been shared so far and that we've looked into I am extremely excited for the possibilities that we get with ideology and I can't wait to play it. And the only thing I can say is thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. What are you the most excited for in terms of RimWorld ideology? Let me know down in the comment sections below. I will see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.